This retrospective exhibition presents the fashion journey of Andrew Gen, one of Singapore's most prolific fashion designers. It celebrates his major gift to the nation of over 160 works. Established in 1995, the label has been recognised as one of Singapore's most successful fashion exports. It is known for producing refined, maximalist looks found in leading luxury stores and on leading women around the world. Andrew Gunn is the first and only Singaporean designer to consistently present his works during Paris Fashion Week since 1995. Through five sections, the exhibition explores Andrew Gunn's roots in Asia and the West and celebrates his distinctive aesthetics, craftsmanship and global impact. Like Singapore, his work and life bridge dichotomies of East and West, tradition and modernity, the local and the global. There have been several exhibitions around the world that explore how Western designers imagine Asia in their fashion creations. In this section themed Encountering Asia, we have the opportunity to see how an Asian designer like Andrew Gen approaches Asia in his works. Many fashion designers usually focus on China, Japan and India when thinking of Asia. But with Andrew being born and raised in Singapore, Southeast Asia has also been frequently featured. In general, Andrew Gen's Asian-inspired works draw from a variety of sources including his roots in Singapore, art, fashion, literature and film. Mixing and matching fabrics and silhouettes is fundamental to Andrew Gunn's practice. It recalls the practice of his mother in the 60s and 70s who had chongsams, sarong kabaya and western style suits and dresses tailored from sumptuous fabrics acquired by his merchant father such as Thai silks and Indonesian batiks. This beautiful coat with a batik-inspired design is a collection highlight. In the style of early 20th century batiks from the north coast of Java, the design features bold and bright colours and naturalistic depictions of flowers and creatures, in this case, lotus flowers and butterflies. The shoulder epaulets reference both Chinese carp collars as well as horn costumes, a form of Thai theatre from the Ayutthaya period. This work comes from the 2003 collection titled Pan Asia, which represents a fashion voyage to Singapore and Southeast Asia as a dynamic and inclusive region at the crossroads of international trade and exchange of ideas for centuries. We're now in the section on how Andrew Gen interpreted China and Japan in his fashion works. On display are his reflections on Chinese and Shinazori art, such as Chinese ceramics and export lacquered screens, geisha culture and kimonos, and the vibrant youth fashions in Tokyo he saw on trips growing up. This pleated cheongsam was inspired by one worn by Maggie Cheong or Zhang Manyu in the iconic Wong Kar Wai film In the Mood for Love or Hua Yang Nian Hua. The naturalistic pleats show how Andrew Gen was experimenting towards a Fortuny light effect. Invented in Shanghai in the 1920s and popular among Chinese communities around the world, Andrew Gen regards the Cheongsam or Qi Pao in Mandarin as the most beautiful form of Chinese dress. At its conception, a hundred years ago, and for Andrew Gen as well, the Cheongsam is modern, not traditional. It was a familiar sight in Singapore growing up, and he also admired Cheongsams in both Western and Chinese films. This section shows how Andrew Gen dreamed of India and Turkey in his fashion works. This evening gown shows how he entered the arts of Turkey through an appreciation of Isnik ceramics, of which he is a collector. Isnik is the name of a town in Turkey which produced a distinctive type of ceramics which flourished from the late 15th to the late 17th century that were traded throughout West Asia. The bright shades of blue, green and red embroidery draw from the aesthetics of Isnik ceramics of the 16th century. We see carnations and tulips which symbolise beauty and paradise. Gardens and flowers were significant visual elements in the Islamic art of Ottoman Turkey. This section is themed Envisioning the West 
and displays Andrew Gern's works with strong Western art and fashion influences. Andrew's journey to the West started with his mother's collection of suits and visits to early multi-label stores on Orchard Road, Singapore, which stocked European labels in the 70s and 80s. He went on to study Western fashion and art history in London, New York and Milan, which deeply influenced his taste and style. Three main periods which recur in his works are the 17th and 18th centuries, the late 19th to early 20th century, and the 1960s to 1970s. Andrew Gen often reinterprets French Rococo fashion as well as Baroque art of the 17th and 18th century in his works. In this time, France emerged as a leader in fashion and luxury goods, spreading trends and products across Europe. He approaches this period visually from the historic fantasy land of one of his Parisian homes, decorated with his collection of period ceramics, furniture, tapestries and portraiture. Madame du Pompadour, a Rococo-style fashion icon and influential mistress of Louis XV, is an important muse for Androgen. He reimagined her style in several works, including this dress with characteristic pastel colours, a profusion of floral designs, as well as elaborate embellishments. This section shows art and design movements and artworks from the late 19th to early 20th century that Androgen had imagined in his creations, such as art deco and symbolism, Pablo Picasso and Gustav Klimt. This fully embroidered dress is a highlight. It refers to Claude Monet's Water Lilies, an iconic series of Impressionist paintings. Capturing the spirit of Impressionism, the sparkling dress plays with light when in motion and simulates the idea of quick, fast brushstrokes. The key motifs also become clearer the further away they are viewed. This section shows Andrew Gunn's inspiration from 1960s and 1970s fashion in his works, from the hippies of San Francisco to the dandies of Carnaby Street in a collection called Swinging London. This dress comes from a collection that pays homage to Catherine Deneuve's wardrobe in the 1967 French film called Belle de Jour. The wardrobe was designed by YSL, one of the first designers to reinterpret street styles into high fashion. This dress reflects a smart black coat with ivy calves in the film, transformed by Andrew Gann to include elaborate gold thread embroidery. In this section on the natural world, we see Andrew Gunn's colourful works which reflect the two house coats of corals and butterflies. His love for corals comes from watching National Geographic footage of the Great Barrier Reef of Australia growing up. The butterfly draws from his appreciation of the Chinese legendary tale, The Butterfly Lovers, where it symbolises transient joy, beauty and love. Many collections imagine flowers and gardens around the world, with collection themes such as the Persian Garden in 2016 and the English Garden in 2004. On display is a garden of floral fantasies often depicted vividly through a range of colours, materials and techniques. This kaftan with chrysanthemum print was designed at the invitation of the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco to respond to Asian art. Andrew's work responded to a Japanese vase of the Meiji period featuring chrysanthemums. The chrysanthemums were first hand-painted in watercolour before they were digitised and printed on the silk fabric. In Chinese and Japanese art, chrysanthemums represent happiness and longevity. The handmade fringe echoes the tassels of Chinese silk shawls exported to Europe in the 19th century. An Androgen piece is defined by technical mastery of diverse construction and decorative techniques. And this space gives a glimpse of the creative processes behind making the designs. Through former fashion school training in St. Martin's in London and Dumo's Academy in Milan, as well as an assistantship with Emmanuel Wangro in 1994, Andrew built a solid technical base. This wall display recalls the process that went into creating the Spring-Summer 2023 collection from sketch to dress. 
A collection begins with his sketches and a discussion of key themes. Fabrics are then arranged to expand his ideas. Using the sketches, the dressmaker makes the toit or the cotton test garment to allow Andrew Gann to visualise the look in three dimensions. The senior designer then creates the technical drawings and artworks for the embellishments. The embellishment samples are then pinned precisely to the toit and the fabric samples and images of accessories are matched and clipped to the sketches on the walls. Finally, the prototypes are sent to manufacturers in France and Italy to be produced in limited numbers or to Mumbai if it involves some embroidery. The styling sheets show how accessories and shoes designed in-house are matched to specific looks. The runway show boards show how the final look comes together in terms of the dress, the makeup, the hair styling, as well as the postures of the models. The materials the studio works with are sourced from France and Italy, whose thriving textiles industries reflect their emergence as producers of luxury goods in the 17th century. On display are also three key techniques that are used in Andrew's works, including lace work, embroidery, and brocade. This section titled In the Global Eye shows leading women who chose to wear Andrew Gann for significant events in the spotlight, be it on print, on screen, and for global events. Two platforms on each side show Asian and Hollywood celebrities united in appreciation of Andrew Gann's cocktail and evening dresses, which are elegant, glamorous, and well tailored. The central platform shows how Andrew Gann's Clean silhouettes and refined jewel tone works are appreciated by royal ladies from Europe and the Middle East. Catherine, Princess of Wales, wore this custom dress design for Trooping the Colour on 17 June 2023. It is an annual parade to celebrate the official birthday of the British King. Jewel tones are one signature colour palette for Andrew Gann, and Green referenced her recent appointment as Colonel of the Irish Guards. This is also the first time the princess has chosen a non-British designer for this important occasion. For Singapore, it's a notable fashion moment on the global stage. Like the Asian Civilizations Museum, Andrew Gann emphasizes cross-culturalism, innovation in tradition, and quality in his creations. In particular, his works reflect an instinctive appreciation of a broad range of Asian motifs and designs, perhaps echoing a connection to Singapore where a wide range of designs are celebrated instead of those that fit one single national aesthetic. The Andrew Gann Archive at the Asian Civilizations Museum is testament to an extraordinary Singaporean life and his exceptional fashion works. It is a starting point for the museum as we strive for more representation of Asia in fashion.